His next challenge, a 400-foot pendulum swing from the four-mile-long Skyway Bridge in Tampa, Florida. Glory was the only female member of a team of five to jump off the side of the Skyway Bridge. Compared to Niagara Falls, there's definitely the adrenaline flowing. The risk might not be as high, but I'm pretty excited. I mean, I'm not thinking a lot about it because if I do, I'll probably talk myself out of it, but um, it's positive thought. One of the male members decided he no longer had positive thoughts about the illegal and dangerous stunt and pulls out at the last minute. Jeff Sargent, a 19-year-old with no experience, volunteers. I got some butterflies. You'd be, you'd be stupid if you were, man. You'd be dumb if you, you'd seen that bridge before. But I got the butterflies. There's only one way to go, and that's right over the edge. So I put the T minus 10? Since the pendulum swing is an illegal stunt, no permits were obtained and no permission granted. Therefore, the five had to act fast if they were going to pull off this joyride. The plan? Drive to a predetermined spot on the bridge. Attach a 200-foot-long cable to a park limousine. The five-member stunt squad runs the swing end of the cable to the side of the bridge. Each jumper would attach themselves to the end of the cable and then jump, swinging out like a pendulum, then release the cable and escape before police, Coast Guard and Fire Department authorities can capture and arrest them all for breaking the law. The stunt required precise execution. The camera crew in the helicopter is ready. The camera crew below the bridge is set. The five daredevils jump. Slow motion replay of the failed stunt shows that the daredevils did not have enough pressure on the cable when they jumped from the top of the bridge. When the five-member team weighing almost 1,000 pounds reached the end of the cable, the tremendous force snaps their lifeline. For the jumpers, the first injuries are whiplash from the cable. The second and more powerful is the impact of the water 200 feet below the bridge. Lori is unconscious. Her neck Keep broken. Breathing. Jeff is not breathing. His neck is also broken. Chaos takes over as the jumpers and the boat crew stare at death all around them. The pendulum death swing claimed no lives, but it did ruin friendships. Lori, realizing the danger of living on the edge, broke off her relationship with Steve Trotter and is still recovering from the experience. Steve was arrested in the hospital by the Tampa Bay police, and they are all being charged for their illegal stunt. The fee, $70,000. The cost for the five to be rescued. <laughs>